Hey everybody, welcome to the show. Now if you use your Weber Q half as much as I do, chances are you've got these greasy smoke stains on both sides of your grill. Now I don't know about you, but I don't want greasy smoke stains on both sides of my grill, so I decided I'm gonna do something about it. So in this episode, I'm gonna show you how I popped the top off my Weber Q, gave it a paint job, and now it's looking as good as new. Okay, so the first step to painting the Weber Q is to remove the lid, and Weber makes it really easy with these two cotter pins on the hinges at the back of the grill. Just use a pair of needle nose pliers, and they come right out. And now that we've got the lid off, we can take off the thermometer by unscrewing the wing nut that holds it on. And then using a Phillips head screwdriver, unscrew the two screws that hold on the handle. And now for the fun part, we're gonna clean off as much grease as we can possibly get off the grill. And I'll just fast forward through this mega exciting grease cleaning scene. And now what I'm doing is I'm taking a sandpaper sponge and I'm just roughing up the surface a little bit and trying to get any excess grease that was on there off of there so it's nice and clean. Just make sure you get all the little corners, especially around the hinges. And then grab your garden hose and rinse off the paint dust that was created from the sandpaper. I swear this is a hose. <laughs> and now we're just gonna let this sit out in the sun for a few minutes to dry. It's a nice sunny day, so this shouldn't take too long, but you definitely don't want any water on there before you start painting. And here we've got some Rust-Oleum high heat spray paint. Got a picture of a grill on the can. Give it a good shake for a minute or two, and then start painting. And what you wanna do is hold the can about six to eight inches away and spray it on in strokes like I'm doing here. That way you're not gonna get any streaks or drippy, runny marks. If you do get any of those, then you have to wait till they dry, sand them down, and then repaint that area. And then after a few minutes, the grill's starting to really come along. Just looking around for any, any more green that might be on there. And every dog in the neighborhood knows that I'm shooting a video now, so they're, they're chiming in. <laughs> Life of a YouTuber. Just go over the grill a couple of times to make sure you don't miss any spots. A good two or three coats should do it. And then of course, putting the grill back together is a piece of cake. Just put the lid back on, put those cotter pins back into the hinges, make sure they're inserted securely, and then reattach the handle, and of course, the thermometer and here we have the matte black Weber Q which is great nobody else has one in stores are always glossy I am loving the look of my freshly painted matte black Weber Q so if your Weber Q is looking a little worse for wear like mine was give this a try give it a paint job it's super easy it's a lot easier than I actually thought it was going to be if you like this video or found it helpful leave a like or a comment down below. I'd really love to hear your thoughts. Of course, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell and you'll know when new videos come out. And uh, one other thing, keep on grilling.